So the struggle of the apparently sometimes missing gear indicator goes on. Now you might have seen my previous video where I showed you guys how to get the part out, which is right back here. It's black, so it's really hard to see, but I'm gonna pop this guy back out. I cleaned it once before, showed you where it wasn't quite making contact, and that did fix it for a while, but it's a about a $50 part shipped, so that's why I was hesitant to buy it right off the bat. You know, it was worth trying since it's free to clean it, but I did end up having to replace it. And here's a new one for anyone that needs one. It's Yamaha part number 1MC. 8240-00 comes with connector on it so there's no splicing or dicing you need to do and here are the new pads so I'm gonna pull the other one out and take a look at it it's the orientation of it, the twist as it goes in the engine and how the little contact pin on the inside hits these pads that's the problem this one up here is the first gear indicator pad the little one there is neutral this is second and when it swings all the way around, it's the inner part that moves. And when it contacts that first gear indicator pad, it doesn't quite make full contact. It's, it's off to the side. It's not centered like it is on the other ones. And that's what sometimes isn't making contact. So let's take a look and compare this new one to the old, see if there's any difference in the part. Now I showed you guys this before when I showed you how to take the part out and clean it, but Luckily, it's very easy to get to this wire. You need to take off your saddlebag, take off your seat, take off your side panel, and everything is right here. We have the part, and you just take out the, well, first you take off the 10 mil nut that slides this control lever off the shaft, and you do have to take the bolt completely out in order to decapture it. Just let that hang down there. Stock, it's two really soft, Phillips head screws and like I showed you I recommend going to the hardware store and replacing them with button head bolts. The wire goes down back under here there's a cable tie that you have to snip right here it's the only one and then it just runs up behind this frame member here and loops and connects right here at this white connector so just disconnect it here Loop the cable down, put a new cable tie on, bolt the new one up. Let's get this one off and take a look. Well, here's the old versus the new, and they are identical. Same part number, there's a different mold stamping on them, that's just machine to machine. Part number is the same, design looks the same, so good or bad, it's the same part still in production. Now here's the weird thing, since putting up my video, other people have come forward or had the problem start, even on new 2016 bikes. So there is something amiss with this part, but it's not that many people. I don't know if I just get unlucky or what, but I seem to be having the weird problems and getting them first. <laughs> but if you're in my FJR enthusiast group on Facebook, you'll see a couple other people have recently had the problem start one guy just a couple days ago on his brand new 2016. Now he's under warranty so he's getting it replaced but for those like me with the older bike well here's what you need to do. So I'm going to pop this new guy in, zip tie it up, button it back up and I'll be done. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps somebody. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. See ya.